I'm Matt Bichard here in New York City for NARIT's REIT Week, 2018 Investor Conference. Joining me today is Dean Shiginaga, co-president and CFO of Alexandria Real Estate Equities. Dean, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thanks, Matt. Welcome. To, I'm glad to be here. One of the things Alexandria founder Joel Marcus always touted as the strength of the company was its deep executive bench. Can you talk about how that's coming into play with the company's recent management changes? Yeah, I think we're in a really fortunate spot. We've got a great executive team that really has worked extremely well together over the years and executed strategic goals um, really efficiently. If you think back over the last couple decades now, we've delivered great returns and great execution. Steve Richardson and Peter Mogula as co-CEOs today actually have been working closely together for two decades at Alexandria, but importantly over the last seven to eight years have been closely together as chief operating officer and chief investment officer. And I think that's worked really nicely because as they transition into their new roles, they've been handling what I would say are really the important responsibilities critical to their functions as co-CEOs today. We've got a fully integrated regional team in place in each of our markets, and they really strive to deliver operational excellence across all areas of our business. And they're really passionate about the quality of the buildings we deliver to our tenants, as well as really helping our client tenants uh, develop new therapies and technologies focused on the improvement and the quality of people's lives. So we've got a great team in place that can really efficiently execute our strategic goals as we look forward into the future. Now, can you talk about some of the external factors that drive demand for life science space, particularly research funding, and how that is shaping up for the near term? Sure, Matt. You know, it's really interesting. I think we're in a pretty nice spot today. Real estate fundamentals are great. Life science industry fundamentals are strong as well. The life science industry invests a tremendous amount of capital into innovation every year. It's about $280 billion today. I'd say there's five fundamental pillars that really round out um, the positive attributes that drive demand for our real estate today. First, you've got really strong bipartisan support for um, significant NIH funding annually. This recent year, it's up 9%, which is actually really significant in historic terms, up to $37 billion. On top of that, you've got a really favorable regulatory FDA environment with strong leadership under Scott Gottlieb, and he's really focused on quickly and efficiently delivering new drugs to patients. We're fortunate because 53% of recent FDA drug approvals have actually been um, received by our client tenants. There's significant medical research philanthropy today, which is about $33 billion, and 10 years ago it was barely even spoken of. Um, importantly, venture capital investing into the life science industry is also a nice, important stream of capital. It's always been very strong and, and consistent, but most recently, 15 to $20 billion, really funding high quality, accelerating innovation for the industry. And then lastly, I'd say there's um, just tremendous and robust um, commercial R&D investment into the industry, and that's about $190 billion a year. So. The five fundamental pillars are all positive for the life, life science industry, which really bodes well as you think about continued strength of demand for our real estate today. And lastly, Alexandria won this year's NARIT Investor Care Award for investor communications and reporting excellence. Can you talk about the importance of this award and how Alexandria communicates with its shareholders and how that's changed since you joined the company in 2000. First, I just want to you know, congratulate our team because I think the continued um, excellent execution around communication and reporting by our team has is, is actually been outstanding. As I think about what's important about the CARE Award, I, I think two things come to mind. One, the awareness that NAREIT's brought to the importance of communication and reporting and hopefully inspiring teams across the country. And second, I would say once your disclosures get to that level, the strategic level, the dialogue you can have with the investment community is totally different. You know, I joined Alexandria, as you mentioned, back in 2000. We had $800 million in total assets. Today we're $18 billion um, in total market cap included in the S&P 500. But our team looked back in the early 2000s, and we always used to look at the NAREIT award winners, which was really neat for us as a small company coming up in the REIT community. And we were inspired by the disclosures and the winners and it really pushed our team to, to strive to be a, become a leader in this area. And I say, as they looked at the passion they had around our business, they said, well, how can we help the investment community better understand what we do? And they developed best practices around disclosures for guidance, all the underlying assumptions, including sources and uses of capital, 
key trends and transactions in our business. And that's really um, evolved over time to the point where they said, well, in addition to providing all this, why don't we tell a great story and weave in a strategic message throughout our disclosures? And that's really enhanced things over time. The other thing I said, as I mentioned earlier, is that as a company and the investors start to get away from the weeds that are disclosed clearly quarter to quarter, the dialogue becomes really strategic about real estate industry fundamentals, in our case, life science industry fundamentals, and the key trends in our business. So I just want to thank Nayarit and the judges for the work they do here because they think the awareness is healthy and it inspires teams, I think, across the country like it did for us to become a leader in this area. So we're pleased to have been selected for the third time in recent years, just highlighting you know, the importance of communicating clearly and transparently to the investment community. So thank you. Dean, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. For more from Nareed's REIT Week, be sure to visit Nareed's website, REIT.com.